my apologies, Edmund. It's okay to be sad that your hamster's gone. Take time to mourn your loss, and then listen to Paco the storytelling mule as he weaves a graceful metaphor which will stitch close the fissure of Edmund's broken heart. Oh boy, here we go again. Paco, perhaps it might be better if... <laughs> listen up, Edgar. Edmund. That's what I said. Edmund had a hamster. I will show him to you. The hamster was hungry. He wanted an omelet. So he got an egg. But it was a talking egg. Please don't eat me, Mr. Hamster. I can grant you your heart's desire. What do you know about my heart's desire, the hamster replied. You wish to meet your father, said the egg. You cut me to the quick. Take me to my father and I will not eat you. So the egg and the hamster got in a boat and sailed across the sea. The egg told the hamster his father was the king of a great community on a great hill. Okay, so I'm not so good with the hills. Father, the young hamster cried out. Son, thank you, egg, for bringing me my son. Yes, you may go home now, and I will not eat you. Just then, an egg timer dinged, and from the egg emerged a beautiful chicken who flew home across the ocean. The chickens can't fly. How stupid. Who swam home across the ocean. The chickens can't swim either. What can chickens do? Uh, they lay eggs, and they turn into nuggets. Who turned into nuggets and sailed back home on a modern refrigerated cargo ship. So you see, Edgar? Edmund. Your hamster has gone to a better place.